Hey guys, Nate here again with a new video. This time we're going to cover 18 of the most recommended data science platforms out there to learn SQL and Python. These 18 were recommended from data science communities across Reddit, Medium, and YouTube. One quick note, we are not going to be ranking each platform from 1 to 18. I found that each platform has its own merits, its own pros and cons. So instead, we're going to evaluate the platforms based off of four different variables. Your learning style, your experience, the type of content, and the role that it's tailored towards. So whether or not the platform is tailored towards a data scientist or tailored towards a software developer. And a quick note on the criteria of which platforms made the cut or not. I chose to exclude platforms like Coursera, Udemy, edX, various boot camps, as well as university courses. I feel that the quality of those platforms highly depend on the instructor as well as the course itself. So it makes it really hard to compare apples to apples when you're talking about platforms. And if you want a complete list of these platforms, my evaluation criteria and additional information about each platform, go down to the link in the description where you can read more about each platform in the blog article that I wrote. And lastly, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you like content like this. Thanks. All right, here we go. Let's dive right in. Let's evaluate these 18 platforms based off of these two variables here learning style and experience. So here on the y-axis, we have experience, and on the x-axis, we have learning style. Whether or not you are uh, better at learning based off of lectures and text, or whether or not you prefer interactive self-guided learning. So ask yourself these questions when you're thinking about these 18 platforms. What is my learning style? Do I like to dive right in or do I want to watch videos and read text before doing any of these problems? Am I totally new at this and need more handholding or can I just dive right in? So on this left end here, we have essentially lecture based platforms. These are platforms where the user would need to either watch videos or read text on the browser. Most of these platforms also have you install your own either you know, SQL server or Jupyter Notebooks, install and import your own libraries, and basically do the entire setup on your local computer. I actually find this a bit lazy because this is, you know, 2020. You should be able to spin up servers. You should be able to have a nice interface where users can interact, you know, with your platform. Especially if this is meant for teaching Python and SQL, meant for, you know, teaching the next generation of data scientists. So you should make that experience as easy as possible. And I don't really think it's that easy if you're having users install their own stack from top to bottom. So right. let me just show you an example of a lecture-based platform. So this is 365 Data Science, and I have opened up their Intro to Business Analytics data analytics and data science module. And as you can see here, all of the content is essentially videos and text. So there's not any editor or any IDE to commit or write code. Um, you're essentially uh, watching videos or reading PDFs. So if you like platforms that are more lecture based, watching videos, reading text, I think these platforms would be tailor-made towards you. One thing to note is that interview query has gotten a little bit more interactive. You are able to commit SQL code against the database. So I would actually move interview query a little bit to the right. And on the right side here, these platforms are completely interactive and self-guided. Platforms like HackerRank, my platform Stratascratch, Lead code and Algo Expert. These platforms have fully functional IDEs, fully functional workstations where you can explore data, manipulate data, and write code in various languages like SQL and Python. So these platforms are very, very similar to what you would experience and what you would use in a professional setting. But one thing to note is that these platforms are not completely self-guided. They are interactive, so you can just immediately start coding start solving questions and problems that they have. And if you get stuck, what you can do is 
read their solution, read their approach. Oftentimes there's a discussion forum so that you can interact with other users in that platform. That's definitely the case with LeetCode and Stratascratch. So the approach here with these platforms is to start diving in immediately, start coding immediately, and then ask for help uh, either by participating in the discussion forum or reading the solution and reading the approach to the solution. And as you can see, all of these platforms here that are interactive and self-guided, they're actually tailored towards the more experienced users, which makes sense, right? Because if you're gonna dive right in, you need to already know how to code, uh, even if it's just at a beginner level. And this is a good example of a completely interactive platform. This is my platform, Stratch Scratch. It's very similar to LeetCode, except specifically designed and tailored for data scientists. As you can see here, there are a list of interview questions by company. So if we click into one, what you have is an editor here, a question here, the database schema, the data sets. And what you can do is you can commit code, you can check if the solution is correct, and you can see what the solutions are from either Stratus Scratch or from other users. So this is a completely interactive experience. There's not much text. You're kind of expected to know, know what to do already and how to write Python or SQL code here. So this is perfect for the intermediate and advanced user that's maybe preparing for a technical interview that's coming up or just trying to get better at writing code. So the middle ground here, like DataCamp, DataQuest.io, Mode Analytics, these offer a blend of lecture-based material like text and video, as well as a blend of interactive limited IDE. So oftentimes these platforms are more of a course than anything else. So it will start off uh, rather easy, and then it'll ask you to you know, solve a problem using their IDE, using their workbench, and watch some videos, read some text before moving on to a more complicated question. And it just keeps progressing in complexity that way. So you basically have a course from start to finish. And if you're not that experienced, this is a perfect platform for you because you get to not only learn the material using uh, videos, watching videos and reading text, but you also get to be a little bit more hands-on-ish and, and write some code, commit some code into their limited IDE. And I say limited IDE because oftentimes you can't necessarily uh, explore the data like you would want to, explore the data like a true data scientist uh, it's, it's limited in, in terms of what you can actually input and what you're going to get back as an output. So there's a little bit of a trade-off, right, between you know, something uh, that is purely lecture-based, something that is completely interactive, and then the middle ground, which is a little bit of both. And this is a good example of a platform that does a great job of balancing out lecture and text as well as a full interactive experience. What I've opened up is Mode Analytics, their SQL tutorial. They also have a Python tutorial here. Uh, this thing is completely free. It's actually how I learned SQL from the start. Um, as you can see, most of this is text, but if you do want to practice, if you click on try it out, what opens up is an IDE, is an editor, where you can write SQL code just like this and um, press the run button to see what the output is. So again, I think the trend that you're seeing is that if you are more of a beginner and just getting started in your data science journey, you will probably prefer something that is more lecture based and a little bit less interactive because you're not that good at coding just yet. So maybe for you, it's reading text on a browser and watching a few videos and then just typing you know, in one or two lines of code just to see how it works. If you are more experienced, more of an advanced user, you would want something that's a little bit like industry grade, right? You want something more interactive, fully functional that allows you to explore data the way you want to explore data and manipulate data the way you want to. Um, so in this case, these four 
platforms, Hacker Rank, Strata Scratch, Lead Code, and Algo Expert are definitely going to be platforms that you would want to use and you, uh, platforms that you want to try out. Now let's look at two other variables here, essentially content. So specialty topics versus general education and content tailored towards a data scientist versus software developer. So ask yourself these questions. Am I just trying to learn Python or am I trying to learn Python to be a data scientist? Or am I trying to learn Python to be a software developer, right? Am I trying to prepare for an interview like these platforms out here and I need something more specialized and I need specialized topics or am I trying to build my first machine learning model or am I just trying to learn Python in general just to get started uh, with my journey to be a data scientist. So depending on your responses to those questions, it's going to really depend on where you are in this graph. So first, let's look at specialty topics versus general education. Uh, depending on what you want to achieve, depending on where you are in your data science journey, you might be preparing for a technical interview, right? So these three platforms here, interview, query, exponent, strata scratch, these are perfect for preparing for technical interviews in the data science space. If you're trying to be more of a software developer, Algo Expert, Lead Code, these are perfect for uh, preparing for a technical interview, right? For software development in particular. Um, other specialty topics include, you know, creating machine learning models, financial analysis, market marketing analytics, things like that. Data Camp is perfect to learn these specialized topics. And as you go down here, you're looking at platforms that are more geared towards general education. So this is more about writing your first line of Python, writing your first line of SQL code. Uh, it's about you know, creating data frames. It's about learning data types and data structures. It's not necessarily about these niche topics like you know, preparing for a technical interview in data science or bigger, broader topics like creating your first machine learning model. Right. So again, depending on where you are in your data science journey or software development journey, that there's a platform out there for you that really serves your needs. So this axis right here, software development versus data science, each platform is tailor made for a specific user. Right. So lead code, algo expert, these are made for software developers, while strata scratch exponent interview query are made specifically for data scientists. So what does this mean? It means that the content, the questions, the problems, they're made specifically for either a data scientist or a software developer. So what you're going to learn, the questions you're going to be answering are going to be completely different. And they're definitely not apples to apples. Uh, you are going to learn Python, you are going to learn SQL, but you're going to be applying the concepts and the functions completely differently depending on whether or not you're trying to be a software developer or a data scientist. So keep that in mind while you, you are exploring and trying to pick the perfect platform out there for you. So that's it, 18 of the most recommended data science online platforms to learn SQL in Python, evaluated based off of your learning style, type of user, experience level, and the type of content you want to learn. And again, there's no right or wrong answer here. The platform that you end up choosing is going to depend on where you are in your data science journey and what you need at this moment. And this is not even the complete list of all possibilities out there. So my suggestion to you is just to do some research, figure out what you think you need and just experiment and try platforms out. So I hope that helped. Those are 18 of the most recommended data science platforms out there, recommended by your peers in the data science community. And remember, there's a more in-depth analysis of these 18 different platforms in the description below.